guys hello i'm maria thank you so very much for stopping by strong body strong i wanted soul. to talk for a minute about a show that i was just listening to it's called latina theory these ladies are located in minnesota of all places they are latina entrepreneurs and they're talking about cultural appropriation. They're talking about their restaurants, in fact. They are very highly educated. They have lived in Minnesota for a long time. They have kids. They're trying to make sure that their kids keep some of the cultural gifts that they have been entitled to. In this world that we're in, it's getting, the lines are getting more and more tricky how to navigate, right? So, I want to recommend that podcast. It's called Latina Theory. It's really interesting because in my interview with Ben Lopez of Nalip the other day, we were talking about entertainment. We were talking about movie producers, Latino movie and media producers. It was fascinating. But one of the things that I brought up during that conversation was the idea of cultural appropriation. We talked about it a little bit in that conversation because I myself, I am Maria Gabriela and I have an Irish dad and a Hispanic Latina mom. And so sometimes looking at me, you don't realize that. So we were talking about that a little bit. Like there's a purity test, Ben was explaining. It feels like a strange purity test that goes around now. You know, are you Mexican? Are you Latin enough? Are you too white to be considered Latino anymore? Where are the lines? And so go ahead and check out that episode if you like. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about appropriation of any creative ideas. The Anchor platform that I host my podcast on, they merged with Spotify quite some time ago. Spotify is trying to get into the podcasting arena as well. But just in the last couple of days, Anchor has made it possible, has created a new tool, which sounds all bright and shiny and wonderful. You can use any Spotify music in your Anchor podcast. Now, I am in a couple of different podcasting groups, and the consensus seems to be when I asked, well, you know, if you put Spotify music in your podcast, will Apple, will Google, Will CastBox, Spreaker, Stitcher, all those great platforms that the podcasts are distributed to, will they carry that music or will they flag it as copyright protected? Sure enough, I look at the fine print right now. And if you do put music from Spotify into your podcast, your podcast can only be heard on Spotify. So, Good for them. I mean, Spotify is a great app distributing music, helping musicians get out there. And I and that's awesome. But they know that they can't play their music on other people's platforms. So if you're a podcaster on Anchor and you were thinking about using that feature, just please know that it means that your episode will not be able to be carried on those other platforms. If you want to talk about podcasting more, go ahead and check out the new group that I started. It's called Let's Talk About Podcasting. And I'm happy to continue the conversation over there. And um, let's mix it up. One rises, we all rise. We all help each other. Cooperation, collaboration. That's what it's all about. Respecting boundaries and being proud of your heritage, no matter how far back it goes. Be proud, don't worry about it. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. I'm Maria, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.